What's up guys, today's a very special day. I'm picking up, taking delivery of my Tesla Model Y performance. Uh, so I'm gonna document that, come with me, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go hit a workout after that. Let's see if we can find it. All right, we're here at Tesla, we just signed all the papers, and uh, we're about to see our car. So it's a 2022 Model Y Performance, uh, and I had ordered it in April. So we had to wait about five months um, for it to get delivered, but I hear that that's a relatively short delivery window uh, compared to other models. So it definitely feels like it was worth the wait. The car is incredible. I had a home charger installed, and I think it cost me like $12 to fill up to 100%. So excited to not have to put gas in a car and just let the car drive me to my destination. It says it has around 300 miles of range when full, but I think it's closer to like 250. And the zero to 60 time on a performance Model Y is 3.4 seconds. It's so fun to drive. It's like being in a rocket ship when you launch. It's just like silent and instant power. I did it with my wife when we first picked it up and it was so fast, it was disorienting. So many cool features. I mean, it's got autopilot. It's got that panoramic sunroof where it's just one pane of glass from front to back. It's got the 20 inch Gemini wheels, which I'm a huge fan of. I got the all black leather interior. Um, I really wanted the white interior, but we have a baby and I knew that wasn't really realistic so i'm super happy with the black everything on the car is just really simple and clean anyway you'll be seeing more of it i'm sure in my videos but let's jump into our workout first time heading to the gym in the new tesla and we hit a shoulder and bicep workout on shoulder and chest days i always start warming up with the bands and i start with an external rotation to press where i'm putting my hands about shoulder width apart um on the band spreading it apart um, and then externally rotating my shoulder so my wrists are going to go from being parallel with the floor to straight up and down forming that 90 degrees in my elbow joint. Uh, and from there, we're gonna press straight up. Repeat that process back down to the starting position. And I'll probably do like 10 or 12 of these just to help keep my rotator cuff strong here and warm up my shoulders. I also like to get a good stretch on my pec and front delt here. So I'm taking hold of the band with one hand here, just about shoulder height, maybe a little bit below and really turning my body inward so that I'm getting a good stretch on the pec. We're gonna do this a couple times, doing about a 30 second hold and stretch um, on each arm. My shoulders are feeling good after that, so I'm gonna move on to a single overhead DB press. I always start with some variation of an overhead pressing movement for shoulders. Um, this one's a little bit lighter than normal. I'm gonna go up in the rep range a little bit because I'm limited in the amount of weight I can do uh, with a single arm. But I'm gonna use my other hand, just prop it on my hip here for some stability. It's really gonna force you to stabilize um, as you press here and I feel a ton of activation with this. Just be sure to keep your elbows inward. Um, you don't want to flare them too much and you don't want them in too far close to your body, but somewhere in between, probably at about a 45 degree angle. Gonna hit these for three sets at 12 to 15 reps. So that movement hits mostly front delts, a little bit of side delt action as well. Uh, but next we're gonna move on to a seated Y raise and that's gonna target your side delts. Okay, set up somewhere seated for these. We're gonna go pretty light with the weight and just rep it out. So for these, you wanna have a slight bend in your elbow. You don't want your arms to be completely straight. We're gonna bring our wrists a little bit more forward than we would for an, a normal DB lateral raise. Think about making a Y with your arms as you raise up. And I like to go a little bit higher than shoulder width here at the top of the movement. I'm gonna hit these for three sets at 15 to 20 reps. Continuing to hit our side delts, we're gonna do a dumbbell upright row. The upright row gets a lot of slack for being a dangerous movement. And it can cause shoulder issues if you do it improperly, but so can any other movement that you do improperly. So really focus on your form here. The idea is not to pull up too high. So we don't want to pull the dumbbells up higher than our chest level and keep your hands pretty wide for these. A few cues here. Think about pulling the dumbbells up and apart at the top of the movement and lead with your elbows towards the ceiling. Personally, I find that putting my thumbs on top of the dumbbell here helps me with activation. That may just be me, but try it out and see if you feel a difference. We're gonna hit these for three sets at 10 to 12 reps. Next up, we're gonna hit some rear delt swings. Lay down on a bench here at around a 30 degree angle. These are basically just a partial uh, rear delt fly, but instead of having our arms out in front of us, they're gonna be out to our side and about a 45 degree angle, our arms should be off of our body here as you fly backwards. Really focus on leading with your elbows again um, and feeling that connection with your rear delts. We don't want to go back too far, but we also don't want the dumbbells to come out in front of us to the point where there's no tension. 
uh, on our rear delts anymore. So somewhere in between, find the sweet spot, keep it active throughout the entirety of the movement. We're gonna do three sets of these at 10 to 12 reps. Moving on, we're gonna hit our front delts with a single DB front raise. Now you'll notice that I am only grabbing one end of the dumbbell here uh, with the other end of the dumbbell pointing straight out in front of me. This is gonna put more tension on your front delts on the second half of the movement. So give these a try. You're probably gonna have to go lighter than you think because there is so much more tension at the top of the movement. Three sets of these at eight to 10 reps. Next, we're gonna hit a seated alternating dumbbell curl. For these, we're gonna set up seated on a bench with the bench being one notch back from upright. I also like to elevate my feet here and rest them on a dumbbell while I'm doing these. I find that it really helps prevent me from cheating um, and it helps isolate the biceps. We're gonna start with the dumbbells at our side in a neutral grip position. As you curl, supinate your wrist. And what I mean is twist your wrist open so your palms facing up and really focus on taking the weight of the dumbbell with your pinky. This is gonna help activate your bicep during the movement. We're gonna do three sets of these at eight to 10 reps each arm. Moving on, we're going to do a hanging cheek curl. Grab a dumbbell and find something to lean against. Bend over and let your arm hang straight down so it's perpendicular with the floor. From that hanging position, we're going to curl inwards towards our body, using a little bit of momentum to get the weight up. Now, because they're cheek curls doesn't mean that you can just go crazy with the weight and not have any form. We're going to make sure that we pick a weight that is almost too difficult for us to curl, but not too difficult for us to be able to lower the weight back down slowly and under control. So you can use a little momentum to get them up here, but we don't want to rely on momentum only. So try it out. It might take a few times to figure out what weight you need to use, but you'll get it down. Three sets of these at eight to 10 reps. We're going to finish up hitting the brachialis, which is the muscle that sits under your bicep. Developing this is going to push your bicep up and out to the side, making it look wider. Starting with the dumbbells at your side in a neutral grip position, curl upwards, shifting to an overhand grip at the top of the movement. These reverse grip curls really hit your brachialis, but they also hit your forearm. And I know you guys are always looking for forearm movements, so here you go. We're gonna do these for three sets at eight to 10 reps. And that's gonna do it for shoulders and biceps. I'm gonna hit 30 minutes on a stationary bike for cardio, shooting for a goal of somewhere around 400 calories burned. And that's gonna do it. We're gonna head home, get our post-workout meal in. Like, subscribe, and if this video was helpful to you, please let me know in the comments.